All right, welcome you guys in today as we have the Eastside Tigers hosting Bishop Eustace Crusaders. Here once again, the man to the left of me. Be nice. Yes, sir. We're back at it. Another big matchup. Two undefeateds. Bishop Eustace bringing in a 7-0 record along with Eastside Tigers, 5-0. So another early matchup between two of the top teams in South Jersey. Should be a fun, entertaining night. See if these guys get up and down the court and secure another victory after a big emotional win a couple nights ago down in St. Augustine. Yep. See if these guys can keep that same energy. That's for sure. Good to be back. Want to re-jump. Jahan up, secures the tip. Bright gives it up to Long, so here we go. Opening possession. A little different lineup seeing Jahan Green back in the lineup without uh, Bell, who's out with a illness today, so different lineup. So yeah, that's gonna be a huge loss no Rashid Bell tonight. Like you said, man, stomach virus crippled him this afternoon, so he can't make it, make it into the start lineup. But you got Jahan, who was licking his chops the last two games to get back in that rotation, so he should be ready to go. Yep. Tiger showing patience, backdoor pass. Bell, excuse me, Jalen Long loses it up on the the layup, it said off his arm, so that's a turnover. Long outlet. Trapped in the corner, loose ball, scooped up. Jalen at the rim. Easy money. First points of the night. Jalen Long, deflection, another outlet, stolen. Will Love, off the window, count the bucket. The lefty smooth defense turning into easy offense. So Tigers pedigree. So I was wondering if they're going to keep that energy from an emotional night down in St. Augustine. But as you can see, it came to play. They only know one way to play. And that's aggressive and fast. Man-to-man -man defense. 
Pass in the lane, floater in the middle, no good. Off the window. Put back, count the basket. Daniel Mason with the first points for Bishop Eustis. I'm gonna let you guys know, early on, don't kill us if we butcher our last name from Bishop Eustis to die. <laughs> so, a little out of control there by Jalen. Pass to the wing, nobody home. Backdoor pass off the window. Blocked out. Will Love. Jalen. He's going to call a charge He's on that. He's for a charge. So a little out of control by the point guard. He has to settle down and try to run through two defenders. Yeah, tried to split them there. Um, defender had his feet set in the paint. It looked like they were kind of going back and forth. He thought he could squeeze through, but. Yeah, that was a good call. He tried to get skinny between the two defenders, and Jalen's not skinny. And he got called for the charge, offensive foul. So here we go. Back to Eustace. He got a full court pressure. Ball still in the backcourt, just gets it over. Passing the post. Off the window, we got a foul on the shot. Mason playing big in the post. So two shots coming for the six-eight senior. Yeah, he's a big boy, man. Saw him when he came out to warm up. Nice size on him. That's Will Love's first personal. Got us a tie ball game. 5.30 remaining early in the first. Jahan trying to set up in the post, denied. Houston's no entry pass. Cairo with the catch and shoot at the top of the key. Bang, Cairo Rivera. Three point lead, skip pass. Good defense by the Tigers. Houston's showing patience. Baseline dribble off the window. Count the basket. So that's James Ionelli. Hope I got that one right. So 7-6 game. Cairo, catch and shoot. Top of the key again. Bang. Back to back. Cannot leave him open. Gets it again for three. Long outlet. Stolen. Will Love. Looked like a safety out there. Right. Dribble penetration. Kick out. Jalen off the window. No good. He got a foul underneath. So, he got a foul on Eustace. For number 25. That's his first personal. Play call coming in. Jalen surveys, catch and shoot. Three for three. Can we go three for three? Rivera. Same spot. That's three for three for Cairo. Rivera, big time shots right now, extending the lead to six. Well, he got a long range three for Eustace. Looks like it might have been over the back. Reach and foul. Eustace. Seven point lead, excuse me. So, I'm trying to get, get, looked up at the clock. <laughs> so it looks like a foul on uh, Tommy. I'm not saying that last name. <laughs> That's right. That's his second personal. Back-to-back -back fouls on number 25. Tommy S. Look, That's, do, That's do all you, he gets. Do you run it again? Do you run it again? Give so, him a, another opportunity to see so, if he got it. Heat check. So they're going to reset. 3.20 on the clock. Right. Dribble left. 
Jahan, long three. Bang. Corner pocket. Jahan, a welcome back into the starting lineup after being out for two games. Well, the ankle, the ankle looks pretty good to me. Pressure in the backcourt. Ten point lead for Pull the up Tigers. Pull off the window. Looking good. Outlet Jahan on the break. Look, watch out, baby. Bang. Watch out, Ooh. baby. Watch ahead. We got a timeout on the court. The crowd appreciating the energy. 18-6. Eastside. Running away with it. Listen, early on, the question, when they came into the gym, I said they running full court layups in pregame. How are they going to be able to keep up with the press? They're going to be yeah. tired by the second quarter. They, they, They've already they been didn't, They didn't exhausted. do the scouting report. If you run a four-court plays during warm-ups, you got to save those legs. Yep. The Tigers are out and running. That's 11-0 run in two minutes. Four straight threes. <laughs> got to say his name, Cairo Rivera, with three straight threes. Yeah. Top of the key. So that's a, excuse me, that's a 12 over run. My bad. Yeah, they just fixed the score. So yeah, 12 over run. So I, th I didn't think I, I thought I was going crazy when I looked up at the clock and I yeah. said what I said, but they got it corrected now. So yeah, 12 over run. Tigers applying that pressure. Houston. Inbound. Full court pressure. Long pass. Almost stolen. Two thirty left in the first quarter. Dribble penetration. Catch a shoot. Long range. Off the window. Rebound. Bright. Pushes it to Will. Will gets it. Dribble kick out. Right, penetrate. Rivera catch and shoot. Off the mark. Long rebound. Mason secures the board. 2.10 on the clock and running. Looked like they was rushing there. There wasn't no need to rush that shot. Almost reaching there by Jahan. Man-to-man -man pressure. Switching up top. Pass inside. Deflected out of bounds. Good defense. Good ball denied by Will Love. Jeremiah Bright helping out. This is a great sight to see. That the, the game the other night, you can tell these guys grew up a little bit. They're starting to play a lot better. They're starting to learn how to play basketball. And that's one thing before that they was having issues with was just, you know, the, the, the ordinary basketball plays. Backdoor pass, Jahan, the first layup. Way to gather, control, finish it with the left. Yeah, Rod, this is a young team, man. These guys never really played together. Right. Only one returning starter, Will Love. So it's going to take some time yep. to get the chemistry to work. But as you can see, these guys are playing with confidence, having fun out there. Ball stolen, right on the break. Watch out, baby. Blows the dunk. Finish. No good. So two opportunities. Jahan playing defense. Takes the bump. Pass over the long. Count it. One minute remaining in the first quarter. 22 to 6. This is an onslaught right now by the Tigers. Pass inside. Pump fake, got him in the air. Good move, got to respect it. Bishop Buse was walking here, thought they was going to have a game, but right now it is getting out of control. So that's Jeremiah's first personal. James Ionelli at the free throw line for two. Second attempt, good. 22-8, 33 seconds left in the first quarter. So they're gonna hold for one. 
25 and running. Rivera holding. Gonna hold for one shot. Now it's at 10. Here we go. High screen. Reset. Jalen. Push off. His off arm. That wasn't. He just extended it. It wasn't a real physical move. It wasn't. The bad part is he didn't need to do it. He need, he did it to reset because he kind of got off balance. So he kind of put his arm yeah. out to catch to catch himself from falling. Ref said it was an offensive foul, but I don't know about that one. Two seconds left. Titus checks in. Catch and shoot block. Good, good, entertaining first quarter. He side, 22. Tigers looking, they looking like the running Rebels right Man, now. Looking like, I was saying earlier in the, in the, in the broadcast <laughs> a couple games ago, looking like that Arkansas team from back with Nolan Richardson. Man. That full court pressure for the whole game. They are out and rolling. 22-8 lead. Liking what I'm saying so far. We'll be back after a short break. Start the second quarter. All right, we back up and running. Cairo, backdoor pass. Too close. Difficult pass. He would have stopped at the free throw line. He could have gave it to Bright, but these guys were too close. That's another turnover. Back to Eustace. Titus Bacon applying the pressure. Subs in for Jalen. Back deflection. So that 14 point lead. Cut the nine. Had to go into the live stream, man. Had a little technical difficulties. It looks like he's back up and running. Long three. I see a flat from long range. It's a big basket. Stop that run. Back to a 12-point lead. Corner three block. Will Love with his third block of the night. Eustace looking for some openings. Nothing there. Green with the board. Rolls off his foot. Loses the handle. So we're going to go back to YouTube for all those just checking in. Had a little technical difficulties. Look like we back up, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. You guys can jump back in. 
on the D2 Sports Network. I apologize for the inconveniences, so we're going to get back to it. Had one of the plugs kill, kicked out again. We're going to have to get some type of tape or rugs or something so we, so we can stop having that happen. Right, at the next whistle, I'm going to shut it down. Pass deflected. Titus on the break. Still got it. Pass up top. Foul on the attempt. Good steal by Bacon. Two shots coming up. First one counted. In and out. He said it's off green. Next dead ball, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the YouTube page so you guys time out. So that's where you that's where I'm gonna stop it here, man. You guys jump back on D2 Sports. I wanna apologize again. We gotta make sure we get everything taped down. Hey man, gotta have a backup. So hey, I jumped on it. Missed a couple plays, but we good. Tigers, man. Looking impressive. Once again, another big matchup. Two undefeated teams in South Jersey putting their records on the line. Twenty-seven fourteen, two fifty here in the second. For those just tuning in, man, no Rashi Bell. As he's out with a stomach virus, so he couldn't go tonight. Jahan Green makes his debut starting in his absence after sitting out the last two games. Yeah. One thing about, you know, those stomach bugs, man, it's been going around a lot. Hope, hopefully it doesn't travel through the team. Everybody stay healthy, and um, it's a big week coming up. Definitely some big games on the schedule, man, so we need all hands on deck. If Raje Bell is tuning in, man, hope you get well, brother. We need you back out here. So with 2.30 on the clock, east side, up 13. Oh, watch him, almost stolen. Two points, Eustace, Titus, penetrate, cut off. Pass up top, Flack. No hesitation. Bang. Knocks it down. Nasir Flack with the three. 30 16. You have four, four guys off the bench with Jahan Green in the game. So you could go 10 deep in this rotation. These guys subbing guys in and out, applying that pressure. You have guys on the floor that aren't normally getting in a rotation, but. With a lead like this, you can start experimenting and getting guys comfortable with getting that varsity time. Definitely. You got a long guy in Yasir Dickerson. Another 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, wing that can defend. Ooh, three oh, that's points. a big three. Ah. Joseph Callahan from downtown. 145 remaining in a half. Flack holding. Bucis in the man to man. Now you're trying to hold it. Make gets him the, extend. Gets the call from the coach, whether to press him or sit back in that, that zone. So he's going to apply the pressure. Just 110 on the clock. The skip pass. So somebody got to go. Soft spot in the zone. Wash him. Back to Flack, spot up three, off the mark. Got to get back on defense. Layup, easy layup. James Ionelli getting to the rim. This is why coach is getting on him, because he's telling him we need to hold it, so now, end out the clock right in this half, this half out correctly. And these guys are kind of rushing to shoot, so he's a little 
upset about that, holding it with 30. So 14 point lead, been cut to single digits. 25 seconds left before the half. Houston's coach content with waiting this possession out. They feel happy if they could go down in the halftime, single digits, they feel as though that's a win for them. So nine seconds remaining. Here we go. Jahan, top of the key, dribble. We got a reach and foul. So they had three fouls to give. So the side out with four seconds left on the clock. Wash them, got to go. Another foul. So 1.6 before the shot, still side out. It's only five team fouls. So good coaching. So he's going to force them to get a, a rush shot off with 1.6 seconds on the clock. Pass, Rivera. So at the half, you have Eastside 30, Bishop Eustace 21. So that 14 point lead down to nine. Coach for Eustace is happy with that. See if they can kind of get some adjustments made for the second half. See if these guys can get back in the game or that pressure from the Tigers can push it away. So we're going to take a break, man. See you guys second half.
All right, right. Get ready for the second half. Very entertaining first half, man. Both teams. Houston's got. Houston's came out a little sluggish, man, but they figured it out a little bit. This game could have got pushed in the 20s. But uh, they got to give them credit, man. They clawed back to cut it to nine. Eastside going to continue to do what they do. Full court press. Defense leads in the easy offense. That's the Kenny Avent philosophy. So here we go. Third quarter underway. Tell you what, I think they think we are uh, in a wrestling match with the heat on in here today. Yeah, it's a little, definitely a little warm in here. <laughs> definitely the heat is on. Yes, sir. Literally. So Esau starts the second half pass inside the Will Love. Spins baseline. Kick out Jahan. Open three. No good. Eustace looking for the mismatch. Got a man. Shot no good. Offensive board. Put back. Count the basket. Looks like they slowed down their offensive pace a little bit. Matt Kraft. Matty Kraft. Is that Matt? I can't see his face. I believe that's what what, it was. what number was it? Number two. That's what I have here. Um, good backdoor pass. Jeremiah Bright. Rivera with the assist. No, I don't think that's Matt Kraft. All right. So, Houston is just being patient, not in the rush. One in their sets. Looking to go inside. Dribble kick out. Corner three, and that's Ionelli once again. He leads all scores with 15 points. It's keeping them in the game. It's a six-point game. Pass around the key. Back up top, Jalen. Almost penetrated. Pulled it back out. Got a reset. Cairo pulls up at the free throw line. Off the mark. Rebound Eustace. Could cut it to four. Pass aside. He got steps. The coach is furious. Did not like the call there. He juggled the ball. Mishandled it. Looked like he slid the steps a little bit. So that's a turnover. Green splits the double. We got a block and foul before the shot. So Houston's coach still livid over that traveling call. Yeah, I'm looking at this um, at their roster. I think that's Ryan Kraft, number two. Layup. Strong move. Couldn't finish with the left. Green. Back over to Eustace. Backdoor pass. Extra pass in the paint. Loses the handle. Back to the Tigers. Guys got to communicate on the back door. As Eustace is making the extra pass to the open man. Just unfortunate they can't finish the play. Jalen over the bright. Long looking for the open man. Will dribble, jump hook in the paint, off the mark. Big rebound. Eustace hanging around. No one stopping the ball. Skip pass. Ionelli penetrates off the mark. 
foul on the shot. So Green picks up his second personal. Ionelli, strong move. Excuse me, that's his first personal. Puts the ball on the floor, gets to the rim. That's how you get back in the ball game. Scoring without the clock moving. So two free throws coming. 4.44. Tigers come, came out a little flat right now. Definitely, man. These guys looking like they're not matching that first half energy. Five-point game. I think sometimes when you build up a lead like that, it's a little easy to come out a little slow. Bishop Eustis went on a little run to end out the half. So now they're playing with a lot more confidence. Yeah, to close out that, that first half from 14 to 9, they, they, go, they went in pretty confident. So Eastside got to keep it up. Will Love over to Jalen. Jalen, dribble penetrate. Love, Rivera, catch a shoot. Off the mark. So the shots aren't falling to start this uh, third quarter. We got four minutes and some change left in the third. I have to turn up the defense intensity a little bit, create turnovers, get, lead to easy buckets for the Tigers. So it looks like Eustace, they're making the extra pass. So the man that's normally you would think take the shot is finding a, a secondary player open. Bright with the catch and shoot off the mark. Will Love spins in the lane off the window. Put back Rivera. We got a timeout. Tigers after the bucket. Timeout by the coaching staff. So we want to settle the troops down. 339 left in the third. Tigers barely holding on to a six point lead. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure, nice. Uh, so, Matt Craft is not playing. He's, they have him listed as number two on here, but it's ac actually Ryan is wearing number two. Matt Craft isn't playing. Matt Craft is a, is a really good football player. Okay. So we had him as one of the player of the weeks. So I just wanted to make sure when I heard the name, I, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't see him on the floor unless he snuck in. Right, right. Okay, so Titus Bacon checks in. Applying a little bit more pressure on the ball handling the skills of Eustace. Backdoor stolen. Jalen, good defense. Backdoor pass. Green good. switches hands. Good pass. Good pass in traffic. Green with the finish. Under control. Good pass. Now they're turning up the defense. And, and that leads to easy offense for the Tigers. Yeah, that, that was a definitely a, a, a tough catch in traffic and finish by Jahan. Back door. That's a bully ball. Oh, that was a grown man move right there on the post. Yep. Ionelli saw the mismatch, said, hold up. I yep. got a mouse in the, in the house. That's straight up bully ball. Understanding that you had a mismatch and able to take advantage of it right on the block. That's, we, we don't need Jalen down there. Jalen the catch and shoot. He's trying to answer back. Bang. Answer right back. Like, hold on. Dang. Hold on. I get buckets, too. Jalen Long. That was a big three. Pushed the lead back to nine. So the scoring on both teams is even. In the third, we got an easy layup. Off the bounce. No one stopped the ball. They said, my name is Tommy. With the finish. Jalen dribble baseline pull up mid range. I love it. Count it. I love it. Jaylen, I love it. No, yo, no hesitation. We knew exactly the spot he wanted to get to. 
and that's expanding your game. Normally, Jalen blows past his man that's guarding him and explodes to the basket. This time, he stops, pulls up, and get a great look. Long three. No good. Titus helping out on the boards. Big rebound for the, for the guard. Back to Jalen. Looking to get busy. Brings it back out. Right. Surveying. Pass in the post. Jahan double team. Back out to Bright. Catch and shoot. Too strong. Rebound. Eustace. He said it looked like a deflection off Bacon. So he says it's Eustace ball. Yeah, I definitely want to see the Tigers push this lead up a little bit more. Keep the pressure on. Get ready for a big game that they have this weekend, Sunday. Eustace looking inside. Big fella looking to stab himself on the post. Oh, oh baby. I don't, I don't know. Got to reach in. Is he going to call the grab? That, that call right there is a questionable, but I'm not really too mad at the call because you're playing behind. You got to be honest. You got to play on it. looked like he deflected it cleanly, but the ref didn't see it that way. We got a catch and shoot. Long range. Off the window. Off the, excuse me. Rebound. Green. Long walks it over. That was a big stop right there. 50 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Bacon. Bacon looking, dribbling, dribbling left, cut off. It's the reset. They're, they're looking to hold for one with 35 seconds and running. Looking like it was a little confusion on who wanted to handle the ball. Jalen gets it back over the uh, Will Love. Jalen, oh, you got to reach in off the bounce. You want to call a push? little push in the back. I call a block. <laughs> Side out. 26 seconds left in the third. Jalen asked for the ball all the way back in the backcourt. He'll Smart walk. move right there. Yeah, walk it up, get into your set. Go right to it. Held the ball for one shot right here. Slowing down that offense of Bishop Eustis. Yeah, Bishop went out on a 9-4 run to cut the lead to four. The east side went on. Titus got to let it fly. In and out. Down and out. I mean, it don't get no cleaner than that. That's what you want. That's the look that you want. That's the shot. The rotation was just a little off, in and out. So both teams finished even on the score. As it was a nine-point lead at half. And yep. we have a nine-point lead to end the three. Yeah, I, I like to, to see the Tigers, man. I like that pressure. They came out a little flat. I think these are guys that, that need to be pushed a little bit by their defense to help them get into a rhythm offensively. Oh, my bad. It was 11-point lead at the half. My, my fault. So they chopped two off of that score. My correction was 30-19. Get ready to start this final quarter to close this out. Both teams undefeated. He's not going to hold on. Does Houston have another run in him? Battle with the unbeatens. Number two in South Jersey versus number four in South Jersey. I, I got to give Eustace some credit, man. They look, they tough. They fighting. They are, that's a tough team. I said Ionelli? Yes, sir. He's playing really, really yeah. well for He's carrying them, man. He got 19 points. 
Little handles, little suspect on that handle. Agnelli baseline, cut off, catch and shoot. Too strong. Offensive rebound, no good. Scramble for it. Another turnover as they couldn't handle the ball underneath. That was a crucial possession. Rolls off the fingertips of Daniel Mason. They had, they had it right there, but they couldn't connect. If I'm in here sweating, these guys running up and down the court, you know they are a little tired getting that pressure on. Mm -hmm. So the routine plays are coming, becoming a little harder and harder to make. Right, dribble baseline. Oh, pull up. Looked like got a little contact. Shot was deflected. Back to Houston. Nine-point game. Pass in the post. Ionelli looking to go to work. Kicked out. Dribble right, cut off. You got to get the ball before you before you go. You got to secure the ball. This is what I talk about. Somebody got to grab it. Right, back Good door move. pass. Green, Good move. count the basket. Right with the no-look bounce pass underneath to Jahan with the N one. Count it, plus the foul. Great pass, great finish. Finish with the left, with the man on the left side of that post. Great move. This is what we've been missing the last couple games. That versatility. Three point play, good. Back to a 12 point ball game. Pressure in the backcourt. Trapping the wings. Backdoor pass, too high. Pass is caught. Outlet. Titus catches it on the break. Count it. This the two. Titus Bacon, great. Great hands. Way to catch it. Looked like a receiver out there. Great job slowing up his body down, being able to get control of it and get the layup. We got a timeout. And a timeout. Useless. Now, let's take a look at that, that play down low. Yeah, you see the dribble penetration. Good right. dish. Jump stop, backdoor pass to Jahan on the left side, finish. Under control, that was a pretty play right there. And completes the and one at the end. Got to finish it, man. To make it more better, more better makes it more better. You got to get the three at the free throw line. So, yeah, man, back to a 14-point game. So, Houston's feeling it getting away from him. Like I Coach said. Coach calls a timeout to stop the bleeding. I think our guys only know how to play one way. Woo. A little close for comfort, and then they just say, you know what? Let's do what we do. Nothing going to change. They got to play our game. So they was hanging around. And here you go. That, that full court pressure causing fits. Like they're wearing them down in the fourth quarter. Yeah. So the ball gets a little slippery, a little. Your legs are a little heavier. And you see what's happening. Transition. I mean, that's what the Tigers do. They usually take you in the deep water, see if you're going to be able to hang with them. Yeah. And their scoring and defense start to pick up in every, you know, second that goes off the clock. It's a little bit warmer in here than, than normal. So everything, everybody's sweating. The ball is <laughs> it's just crazy in here right now. But the defensive intensity has picked up, and that's helped the Tigers push this lead back up. So 6.30 left in the fourth. He side up 14. He got a block and foul. Will Love on the shot. So I'm, I'm going I'm to attempt to say this kid's name. Tommy Semiraglo at the line for two. That was that was Derek that just tried to say that last name and, and not Rod. <laughs> Second <laughs> attempt coming. This is the first. I'm trying. Yeah. Oh for two. Big rebound. Will Love. Green up the long. Splits the double. Corner three. Good. Bang. Titus bacon. bacon. Shaking and bacon. For three. Letting that thing pop. Corner three. 
Titus said, listen, I ain't missing this one. Pressure in the backcourt. Long three. Off the window. No good. Follow-up no good. Bacon. Russ letting them play. In transition. No look past the bright. Ooh, Ooh good block. block. Ooh. Good block at the rim. Stays Tigers ball. See that defense, man, starting to pick up. We got some movement inside. Love. Bright brings it back out. I like that these guys are starting to listen to the coach. Making sure they're running the proper plays, getting into their sets. Baseline pull up, spin move, off the window, Ooh. Will Love. Oh, that would have been sweet. Ionelli takes it himself in traffic. No good. They crowd me. Pull up jump shot off the three. Defense good. Bright secures the board. Brings it up. Pass in the corner. Green thought about it. Oh, Long said, I'll take that. Bang. I'll take that. Jalen Long for three. It's a 20 point ball game. We got a timeout. We got a timeout. Eustace, as the Tigers running away with it. It's a 20 point ball game. She did all that dribbling and missed. <laughs> come on, you gotta boy. make this. Oh boy. You gotta make this. You can't come off the court and try to get an extra shot and shoot an air ball. Man. It's, oh, come on, let's go, let's These go. Guys. Is this a halftime contest right now? I don't know. I think she might win like a gift card to <laughs> I don't know. Models or something. You got at least his hit backboard. Oh, there you go. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Way to redeem yourself. Way All to right. redeem yourself. <laughs> so that's a 20 point game. Just yeah. like that. Yeah. Just, Just like that. Like that. And and you know, I keep saying it, you you say it, coach preaches it at practice. Our best offense is our defense. Definitely, man. You see it. There's nothing wrong with that. I know a lot of people may be watching, and they always ask, well, who's the lead scorer? Who's the guy that, that is going to, you know, get 20 a night or 15 a night? This type of team, you know, we just saw Bell it's have, have 18 points without, you know, Jahan Green, who was averaging 15 at the time. So yeah. at any point in time, these Tigers, they could take over. And they still putting that pressure on. Making them force the game. So they can get some steals. Baseline dribble. Good defense, good hands. Deflected by Bright. Yeah, Bright is getting more comfortable as the season is going on. And I'm loving the way that his game is progressing. Yeah, big guard, man. He could play one, two, or the three. Pass inside. Back out, mid-range pull up. So the shots are not falling for Eustace. So turnover. Back to the Tigers. It's a 20-point ball game, 430 left in the ball game. I mean, we're looking right now. Jalen Long has 12 points. And Jahan Green has 12. Balance up. Look a bright scoop layup. Foul on the shot. So two shots coming. First one. No good. As I look at this team, man, I mean, you want to talk about some of the big teams in South Jersey. I'm looking around. There's only one team that I could see that's going to give this team some problems. Makes they, they're, they're, they're about a mile and a half across the bridge. Yeah, I mean. Other than that, I don't see nobody giving this team any issues in South Jersey. Well, right now, yeah, it's still a little early. It's still a little early. However, you're you're absolutely right, but they Stolen. will be tested. Bacon out the green. Showtime! 
Jahan with the two-hand jam woke the crowd up. Ionelli like, hold on. I got a little something left in the tank. 20-point game. Long almost turned it over. Pass in the corner. Long three. No good. I'm going to say this, man. It feels real good to see, you know, the Tigers getting some of the fans to come back out and watch them play, especially after the run they had last year. I know, you know, over the couple years, it's been a light, a little bit light here yeah, in the gym. A, a light attendance, absolutely. But right now you're starting to see some of the fans come back out. When you have a winning program, people want to support and get behind it. And it feels really good to hear the fans screaming and yelling and, and the, the players having the opportunity to perform really great for their parents and friends right here at home. Yeah, great atmosphere I'm seeing right now. Basketball on the east side is back. Still pressure defense. Yeah, that's a foul. You got to reach him foul. Inadvertent foul on Jahan. A little, little contact on the face. The kid looks like he's okay. Let's take a look at that, that breakout real quick before we get the ball. Outside, oh, we'll come back to it. Sorry about that. Pump fake dribble off the window. Good move. So he's just starting to press the ball. Tap, deflect it. Oh, we'll take a quick look. So the ball, side out. They stay here with the Tigers. Our next break, we'll take a look at that. No doubt. We definitely want to get a replay on that one. Will Love taking the ball out. Backdoor pass is deflected. Scramble for it, scooped up by Bacon. No look pass. Green. Blocked. We got a foul on the shot. Yep. Offensive rebounds. Now we'll take a quick look at that. You get the steal by That's Titus Showtime. Bacon. Outlet. Out to Jahan Green. Good finish. To go back to it. So we got Bacon at the line for two. <laughs> Looks like Avent is clearing the bench. Brings in the backups. With 2.49 on the clock. It's a great sight for the Tigers, <laughs> being yeah. able to sub four or five in at a time. Yeah, because there's a big matchup coming Sunday. Seagull Classic at Holy Spirit High School. Yes. Where the Tigers will take on St. Aquinas. St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Thomas Aquinas, yeah. Which is a top five team in the, yeah. in the state. They're a really, really good basketball team. That's going to be a tall task for the Tigers. But if they come in and play, you know, solid defense, who who knows what will happen. But they're definitely going into that matchup as being an underdog. But oh, yeah. they're definitely used to it already. So, yeah, that's Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock, at Holy Spirit High School. Washam handling the point. Picks up his dribble. Passes it over to Shakir. Washington resets. Flack recovers the deflection. 2.15 left. 2.15 left of the ball game. Flack came in the game today and, and gave the Tigers a spark with a big oh, three point he takes shot. Takes the ball himself. No, no call. He clearly got hit and across the head. Said Ionelli. Looks like that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the fans starting to foul out. Eastside in control. It was a good game for about three quarters. No, I, I don't think so. Nice. It was a good game for about 
one quarter. <laughs> I mean, you got to remember the Tigers jumped out to a huge lead, and then they put their backups in. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And that's I mean, when they created it was a, it the was game. A, but it was a game that was within reach. Yeah, it was it was within reach. That got to give a lot of credit to uh, Bishop Eusis fighting back, getting it, cutting the lead down. But the Tigers, it's just too you much. You know, they shown that they're just too much. They 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 went in to St. Augustine prep the other night, came out with a victory against a really good team. These guys are battle-tested right now, and it's continuing over from last season. I mean, the way Coach pushes these guys, it forces them to play defense hard or they don't play. So we everybody's kind of got a game circled for next week. Yeah. <laughs> After Sunday, next Tuesday. That's what I'm saying. That game is circled. The, the city rivalry between the high and East Side. And, and in that game, you know, East Side, they'll be, they'll be the underdogs in that game. But I think people want to see how well they play, you know, if they fight. Backdoor pass deflected, intended for Dickerson. Turnover. So, yeah, next two games going to be huge. St. Thomas, and then you got the high on then, the road. And then you turn around and play Lenape, too. So, yeah, it's a big I mean, they, the, the next schedule. two weeks, like we said before, next, it, it, it's really tough. I mean, they play St. Augustine Prep, who were ranked, you know, number as six. one of the top teams. I think they were number six in, in New Jersey. In the state, right. Now they got to play St. Thomas Aquinas. Then they're going to turn around Dickerson. and play King. Good move. Finish at the rim. That's another 6'6 junior. Getting some valuable minutes. Right. So a very young team. Ooh, good move. Is that I and Nelly Nelly's again? still balling. With 26 for the night, leading all scores. One minute left in the game. Shakir, spin move. Turnover. Foul on the shot. Yeah. These young guys are getting valuable minutes right now. So you're seeing that the Tigers bench is a little deeper than we thought. Yes, sir. And you're still waiting on the eligibility of Glenn King. Another 6'3", 6'4", wing who's still... I think he'll be ready to sitting, go next week. He's sitting for the first 30 days of the season. So that's another combo guard added to the arsenal. Wash him off the oh window. Oh, my goodness. Good move. Okay. Tyrone. It's another guard coming off the bench. It's a tough team, man. Tough team. Ionelli still getting it up. No good. Big rebound. And they're going to probably gonna hold it. it out with 20 seconds, 1 o'clock here. And that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. From William Smothers Gymnasium. Yes, sir. So the Tigers getting a standing ovation from the fans as they remain undefeated with the final score, 60-42. Thanks for tuning in. Rod, once again, another... Another high impact, high energy ball game. So, yes. What are your final words, my man? My final words. Thank everybody for sticking with us. These broadcasts have been a lot of fun. They're going to continue to get better and better. And we'll end out with that. Thanks for watching. Thank you for some of the guys who, you know, come along and sponsor C Bar 2 down in Winslow. Make sure you guys go check those guys out. But thank you guys, and we'll see you guys. If not Sunday, we'll see you next Tuesday. Next, next. at the high. We'll see. We'll see. Possibly. We might be courtside. <laughs> we may be. We may not. We'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah, we'll see Thanks you guys. Thanks for tuning in, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, ESPN, we out of here.